An Eyewitness News exclusive, a group of thieves attacked two bodega workers in the Bronx, but the workers wouldn't go down without a fight. Yeah, look at this. The clerks fighting back, even holding one of the suspects down until police arrived, all caught on camera. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo live in Throgs Neck with the exclusive story. Anthony, tell us more. David, Lauren, uh, that video just wild. It's actually hard to believe that this didn't end with somebody killed. Police sources say those five young men entered Green Apple Deli here on East Tremont Avenue early in the morning back on September 5th. There were only two workers inside, and the tables certainly turned. Let's pick it up from the beginning of this exclusive video there. As soon as the worker behind the counter turns his back, the suspect in the beige hoodie sneaks up behind him and puts him in a sleeper chokehold. The worker, fearing for his life, tries to fight back. Meanwhile, another suspect empties the register. The worker manages to wiggle his way out and goes to blows with his assailant. The suspect tries to run away with his accomplices who leave their friend behind. The worker makes sure to drag him back and his co-worker who was initially out of frame being held by other suspects. Well, then he rushes over with a kitchen knife and starts swinging. The suspect in the beige hoodie eventually drops to the floor, pinned down by one worker as the other calls the cops. The worker who was put in a chokehold spoke to us exclusively about what was going through his mind with the help of one of the owners who translated. He said the only thing that was his in mind is to protect, like, how to get released from, like, his hand from his leg and defend himself. Of course we're going to defend ourselves, especially if you go behind there. I mean, if you was here and trying to threaten me, I'm going to call the cops out there. But the way they did it, the way they did it, they just jumped him in. They just went inside and started the fight. And that uh, owner there you heard from who didn't want to show his face says that his worker uh, just came here from Yemen a few months ago. Uh, the, the assailant that put that worker in a chokehold, well, he's been arrested. A second young man has turned himself in, but police sources say that there are still three other young men who are on the run, including the young man who was seen emptying the register. Police sources say close to $1,000 was stolen from this store.